Hi, my name is Justin Merch, Operations Planner here at Freight Plus. And today I'll be talking about the differences of tendering freight with or without a TMS. So in our first example here, we're going to call this manual to manual. Manual to manual. And in this situation, we're going to have our operations warehouse planner here with his freight ready to go shipped across the country. In order to get his freight shipped across the country, he's going to have to call his other operations planner friend and share all of the details of this freight going across the country. Freight class, weight, pallet count, pickup, des pickup location, delivery destination. So all of this will just have to be going back and forth via email, phone call, or even old school fax to uh, get this uh, freight tendered. Then operations planner B is gonna have to be working the phone lines, emails, and yes, maybe old school fax to find out a truck that best suits this freight here that needs to get shipped across the country. We'll be coming back to situation one. In situation two, we're going to be talking about manual to TMS. And in the second situation, we're still going to have our friend, the warehouse operations planner, working with his freight. But this time, this information is going to be transmitted to a computer that is running a TMS. And in this case, there is going to be uh, information transmitted on, again, the weight class, the pallet count, pickup destination, delivery destination. But instead of making the calls here, we're going to have parameters set in place and guidelines that are going to help us find a truck fast and efficiently to get this trait moving as quickly as possible across the country. And in our third situation, where it's tech to TMS, we're going to have a computer system, an ERP, whatever is the enterprise that the company is living in, that's going to be transmitting information on a computer to our TMS system. And in each situation, the information from the corporation has already been uploaded and already be, it's already living in the computer here and with all the guidelines, details of that shipment. So it instantly gets transmitted over to the TMS. The TMS is gonna process that against guardrails, restrictions, guidelines that have already been set in place. Instantly look for a truck and instantly get a load tendered out so we can get our freight on the road and delivered as fast as possible. So if we look at all three situations here, the three things that are gonna stand out or have stood out to me, and I hope you agree, is the time that it has takes. So here, tremendous amount of back and forth with the communication on the freight, tremendous amount of communication here on finding a carrier. And then as we move to situation two, that time certain, that efficiency, and that time consumption certainly gets smaller because all this guy has to do is transmit the information once and then the team TMS is working for us. Here three, instant. These we're talking about seconds, less than 30 seconds of quickness and efficiency. The second thing that stands out to me is the risk. Simply, how much or how little mistakes are we going to see through the system or through the situations? Here, there's a tremendous amount of risk and um, mistakes that could be made with uh, transferring of information that is certainly gets less 
as we have one individual transmitting that information to a computer. Going back to one, there's that human to human um, variable here. It's the human to computer, so that drastically um, gets reduced here, computer to computer, next to no risk, or you're gonna uh, eliminate that to a near um, zero. Then the third thing that really stands out to me um, is the visibility on where that truck is and what is the status of that truck as it's going across the country and hitting the benchmarks. In one, our operations planner B is gonna to have to call the carrier, the driver, dispatch to find out the status and relay that back to the warehouse, the shipper, and also then take that time to re relay it to the receiver. Here in uh, situation two, that visibility improves where we use the TMS to work for us and to know where the truck is as we have those benchmarks of uh, pickup delivery and where it is across um, in, in those in-between times. And that is gonna be instantly relayed back to our warehouse. And then three, um, that visibility is ever present as the computers are working for us, letting us know where the truck is at any given time and instantly sending it back to the warehouse so where they're gonna be able to instantly know where the truck is at any given time. So um, really, as we work through one to three, we get time efficiency, we mitigate risk, and we increase our visibility. I'm Justin Merch here at Freight Plus, and that's the differences of tendering freight with or without a TMS. Thank you.